John Logie Baird gives the first public demonstration of television in his laboratory in London. John Logie Baird, the 13th of August 1888 to the 14th of June 1946, was a Scottish inventor, electrical engineer, and innovator who demonstrated the world's first live working television system on the 26th of January 1926. He went on to invent the first publicly demonstrated color television system and the first viable purely electronic color television picture tube. In 1928 the Baird Television Development Company achieved the first transatlantic television transmission. Baird's early technological successes and his role in the practical introduction of broadcast television for home entertainment have earned him a prominent place in television's history. Baird was born on the 13th of August 1888 in Helensburgh, Dunbartonshire, and was the youngest of four children of the Reverend John Baird, the Church of Scotland's minister for the local St. Bride's Church, and Jessie Morrison Inglis, the orphaned niece of a wealthy family of shipbuilders from Glasgow. He was educated at Larkfield Academy, now part of Lowman School, in Helensburgh, the Glasgow and West of Scotland Technical College, and the University of Glasgow. While at college Baird undertook a series of engineering apprentice jobs as part of his course. The conditions in industrial Glasgow at the time helped form his socialist convictions but also contributed to his ill health. He became an agnostic, though this did not strain his relationship with his father. His degree course was interrupted by the First World War, and he never returned to graduate. In early 1923, and in poor health, Baird moved to 21 Linton Crescent, Hastings, on the south coast of England. He later rented a workshop in the Queen's Arcade in the town. Baird built what was to become the world's first working television set using items including an old hatbox and a pair of scissors, some dining needles, a few bicycle light lenses, a used tea chest, and sealing wax and glue that he purchased. In February 1924, he demonstrated to the Radio Times that a semi-mechanical analog television system was possible by transmitting moving silhouette images. In July of the same year, he received a 1,000-volt electric shock, but survived with only a burnt hand and, as a result, his landlord, Mr. Tree, asked him to vacate the premises. Soon after arriving in London, looking for publicity, Baird visited the Daily Express newspaper to promote his invention. The news editor was terrified, and he was quoted by one of his staff as saying, For God's sake, go down to reception and get rid of a lunatic who's down there. He says he's got a machine for seeing by wireless. Watch him, he may have a razor on him. On the 26th of January 1926, Baird gave the first public demonstration of true television images for members of the Royal Institution and a reporter from the Times in his laboratory at 22 Frith Street in the Soho district of London, where Bar Italia is now located. Baird initially used a scan rate of 5 pictures per second, improving this to 12.5 pictures per second in 1927. It was the first demonstration of a television system that could scan and display live moving images with tonal graduation. In 